PUBG Sports fans, I'm your PUBG Sports guide, Annie, and I'm here again with Paper Thin. Hey guys, I'm excited to be back. Cannot wait for PCS 5 to start. So we're back again with another episode of PUBG Esports News to tell you all the stories and watch points for PCS 5. PCS 5 is really important for all the PUBG Pro teams because this is the last chance for them to secure the tickets for PGC. So it's the last battle for PGC. Yeah, exactly. Now there are some teams who've already qualified through various means, but there's still a lot of seats available. So PCS 5 is so important for a lot of these teams and players. So PCS 5, the last PUBG Continental Series of 2021, will start off on September 16th with APEC Day 1, so don't miss out. And stay tuned for our 12th episode of PUBG Sports News for more information and stories. So first to start off is always APAC region. Um, this time in PCS 5, I want to talk about these teams based on the PGC points because this matters a lot in how the teams would play in PCS 5 um, leading to PGC. So let's first have a look in the status quo of PGC points in APAC region. So in point wise, Fury is on the top of the list. Fury is the Oceania team who have been doing always so well in regional qualifiers and PCS PCS events and that their biggest rival, Buriram United Esports, is not here in PCS 5, I think this is finally their chance to win PCS 5. This definitely feels like Fury's event to win, but there are some other teams out there who can definitely challenge them. One I'm really looking at is Archangel Predator from the Philippines. Winning both of the Challenger Rumbles is really huge because now they come into this event as, you know, getting fourth at PCS 4 and I think they have a real shot to potentially win this. And Eagle365 from Indonesia actually ranked second in the recent PUBG Challengers Rumble. And this team showed their best performance out of all PCS events in last PCS4. And I can say that their form is quite good these days. But we can't talk about APAC without talking about Thailand and Vietnam teams. So if you look at the Vietnamese teams participating in PCS5, they're not quite a familiar team in global wise. How do you think about these teams? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of not the teams that we're used to seeing out of Vietnam as the teams we're going to be talking about here. I mean, Game Home Hadong, they've been there from time to time. They've done well, of course, but now they've kind of re-emerged as the top team in Vietnam uh, coming into this event. Of course, BN United had a marvelous performance at PCS4 with their third place finish uh, with their ability. They're in a great spot again uh, to potentially go to PGC. So I think for me, those are the top two teams I'm looking at from the region. On the other hand, Thailand teams seem very familiar, um, especially the Day Trade Gaming. They finally won their regional league, the recent PUBG Thailand series, which means that they're in their best form than ever. Ever. In day trade gaming, Norins and Venatica is still the key players. Yeah, this is a really, really strong team, and it's good to see them finally come through and win their region. Of course, I think shocking the world at PGIS this year. They're a force to be reckoned with if they're playing well. They can definitely win PCS5 and move on to PGC. And there are this one Thailand teams uh, that I'm really excited to see made in Thailand they're finally back in PCS. Yeah, I'm really excited about this team. I mean, these are veterans of PUBG Esports who've been around almost since the very beginning of our competitions. And in particular, I'm of course looking forward to the man, the myth, the legend, Duckman's coming back to international play. And second to go is America's region. This time we have six Latin American teams and 10 North American teams. So America's region have been granted with six seeds for PGC. And if you look through the PGC points, of America's region, we can see a lot of North American teams on the top. So as of right now, Sonics and Oath is locked into PGC 2021. So Sonics have been consistent champion in North America and America's PCS, but Oath, they currently win PUBG's ESL Masters. And I think their current form is really good. So the rivalry between Sonics versus Oath, which team would win PCS 5, will be the watch point for PCS America. Yeah, I think obviously the Sonics and Oath are the two teams that you kind of maybe expect to win PCS 5 uh, for North America. However, there are some other teams to look at here. Uh, some teams that surprisingly struggled during the qualifiers. TSM uh, first comes to mind, a team that has been very, very good uh, for quite some time across many different events. 
Uh, also, uh, Dignitas and Space Station Gaming uh, had to come through the last chance qualifiers, couldn't make it through the group stage. So these are three teams who are basically competing for those last spots out of this region uh, to go to PGC, and they struggled a bit coming into this. So we'll see if they can kind of recover from that. Um, we couldn't find Latin teams on the top six of PGC points for Americas, but they're guaranteed with one regional seats to PGC. So if the Latin teams do well on PCS5, they can secure more than one spot. Yeah, absolutely. I think for the LATAM region, I really look at three teams in particular. The first is the one that's on top of the point standings right now, and that's Fiumba. They're really, really good at Silzen team. Uh, they're looking really, really strong. They played very well at ESL Masters. So I think this is, you know, the team that's in the driver's seat for that spot from uh, Lat AM. The next one, of course, is Young Kids, which is this Andy One FPS's team. This is a very good player, one of the best all time uh, from his region. Uh, played for the Brazil national team at PNC. So, and I think finally, you got to look at Trogloditas, the former Furia team from PGIS. Uh, they're in there, they're in the conversation, but they're going to have to do very well at PCS5. So next is Asia, and Asia has a really tight PGC points currently. So Asia have 12 seeds, 8 seeds are distributed to top 8 of PGC points, and 4 seeds are distributed to each country. So there are 4 teams that have already secured the PGC tickets. So Genji and New Happy have earned their tickets to PGC by winning current regional leagues, PWS Race 2 and PCL Summer Season, and GX have earned their ticket by the regional seeds. And Patrick and Road from China, who have shown their strength in 2021 is very much top on the list so they're kind of locked into PGC 2021. So Pero by winning PCS4 accrued enough points that they have guaranteed themselves enough points that they will be in no matter what to PGC so congratulations to them they've been phenomenal. Uh, I think New Happy has really surprised a lot of people but bringing Non and HS over their team seems to have given them that extra kick uh, they need to do well in the playoffs at the PCL. Gen G, what else can you say about them? I mean, they're, they're amazing. And uh, yeah, GEX, the perennial favorites out of Chinese Taipei. Got into the last week, got two wins, got themselves into the grand final. So they're looking better for sure. So let's break down into the countries. Um, let's look at the PCL teams. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, GFY has been a really strong team this year. Even though they didn't perform well in PCS4, they seem to perform well in China, which leads me to believe that there's potential. 17 Gaming continues to kind of reemerge, reinvent itself here in 2021. Shu has been absolutely phenomenal for them throughout this year. Also, I'm really excited about MCG. Their consistency has been very impressive, winning PCS3 ever since then. They've just been qualifying for all the events, doing well in the PCL. Uh, for me, actually, MCG is the team that I'm really thinking has a good shot to win PCS5. So one shocking news in PCL is that 4AM didn't make it to PCS5 Asia. I think this was their first time, but they do have a chance to advance to PGC 2021. If New Happy, the winner of PCL Summer, reached top 8 in PGC points after PCS5, 4 Angerman could advance to PGC 2021 as they won the PCL spring season. So I'm so sure that 4AM would be rooting for New Happy this time. So next up is the PWS, which consists of teams from Korea, Japan, Chinese Taipei. And of course, the Korean teams have been on top of the PWS ever since we began it. And it was Gen G once again, uh, coming through and winning big time. Uh, some other teams that really impressed here though, ATA looked good. Donawak continues to be really consistent this year. Uh, even though Ghibli wasn't great, Ghibli, because of their second place finish at PCS4, is a really good chance uh, to make it to PGC. And Mad Clan, uh, under the leadership of Deva, looks really, really strong. They really seem to play their best when it matters the most. So in PCS5 Asia, we have two Japanese teams. Yeah, so this time around, it's E36 and Detonation Gaming White out of Japan. I think it's going to take really stellar performances from both these teams to get there. E36 has at times looked very, very solid in international competition. Uh, with Star-Lord and Indigo coming over to that team, along with Pure Boy and Amina. They can frag out. Star-Lord was nuts during PWS. He has looked really, really talented. Detonation Gaming White, on the other hand, so strong when they fight together, when they're confident. I need to see more consistency from their aggressive decision-making if they're going to find themselves at PGC. 
As always, last but not least, it's Europe. So for Europe, let's go straight to the PGC points, the current status of PGC points for Europe. So on the top, there's Virtus Pro. This team is way ahead of their European teams. And this team have been performing so well in recent two years. Yeah, I mean, what can you say? Uh, they, they've dominated EU. They may have adapted uh, to the MC and WWCD formats better than anybody. They're a smart team. They're a talented team. They're great. Yeah, and in the second, there's Team Liquid, the European top dog. But like this team have been doing very well for two years, but they were a lot of times second. How do you think? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're just overshadowed by Virtus Pro in particular right now. They just don't seem to have quite enough oomph at the end of the events to really push through. But that being said, you can never count these guys out. Clib, it's been absolutely nuts this year for them. Uh, I don't doubt Team Liquid at all that they can win PCS5. Okay, going down the list next, we have Na'Vi, who's the old, uh, you know, Tornado Energy Squad. These guys have bounced around a few different teams, uh, but wherever they are, they perform very well. They found a new home with Na'Vi. It's been, I think, maybe some of the best results they've ever seen. And then Heroic, uh, you know, these guys, kind of a roller coaster sometimes with them, a lot of up and down but they have a real good shot here to find themselves in PGC. Next up, Ents, the just uh, quintessential consistent team. They're always just kind of there playing well. These guys have been around for a long time. They, they're they very passive at times, but when they, you know, when it comes down to it, they can really perform well when it counts. So never count Ents out. Yeah, they, they, sh they did show it on the PGIS sometimes. Yeah, and next to advance to the PCS5 is Face Clan. Um, Face Clan is currently in a very dangerous position in PGC points. If they don't do well in PCS5, they might not be advancing to PGC 2021. But we know that Face Clan is a team that can make it happen in the last moment. We've seen it. So let's see how they do it in PCS5. And there are several more teams to focus on Europe. For example, Digital Athletics, they are finally having this final roster with the Finnish twins coming back together. How do you think about this team? They look really, really good. I mean, <laughs> Samti and Jemti, we know what they can do together when they were on Team Liquid. We saw their power. Uh, I mean, it, it's also Vard and Pixel that are on this team, and those guys are no slouches. Vard is incredible as a fragger. So this team, I expect big things out of them at PCS5. Now, also, we should keep in mind that an EMEA team is guaranteed at least one slot. So no matter what happens here, either it's looking like BBL or Supermassive Blaze will be going to PGC. So that could bump one of the other teams we are talking about out uh, due to how the format works. So finally, we're done with explaining the PCS5 story and information regarding the PGC points. I hope that this helped you a lot enjoying PCS5. And of course, we're back with the PCS5 Pick'em Challenge and PCS5 exclusive items. So make sure you guys are doing the Pick'em Challenge. Uh, if I'm in chat, you can check out my picks because I'm very vocal about it. And I'm often right, so <laughs> check it out. Uh, but seriously, the, the, the items are very cool this time around. And the Pick'em Challenge, same as always. As always, guys, here's our picks for who we think is going to win each region of PCS5. Okay, so PUBG Continental Series 5 is kicking off on September 16th with APAC and Americas and Europe and Asia in the weekends. This is the last battle for PGC where teams can secure the last tickets for PGC 2021, so competition is going to be fiercer than ever. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for a lot of these regions, it's win and you're in for PGC, so I expect everybody to be putting out their best performances. And as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate you. Couldn't do it without the fans. And remember to like and subscribe.